Hello and welcome to Owland Dorf. This is the showroom of Cartago Motorhomes. This is a chic sea line integrated 5.3 QB SL. This vehicle is 779 centimeters long and will cost from 109,000 euros. Well, almost it will be that by the time you've stuck some fuel in it. But bear in mind, that's the base price and it doesn't even include delivery or anything like that. So by the time you've added uh, all sorts of other stuff on, it's going to be much more expensive. 3,200 kilos weighs, put it on a 4,250 kilo bay, or, or even four and a half tons, you've got at least a ton of payload and that'll be quite handy for carrying 170 litres of fresh water you might want to carry your, your, your dirty water around well you've got 140 litres of that in the tank and uh, so that's 310 litres uh, so and a ton of payload you've still got a stack to carry other things as well this thing here comes with two 80 amp gel batteries which, uh, in my opinion, not a lot of good if you're off uh, your, um, wild camping. Get yourself some lithium and uh, that'll go much further. And that'll only add 2, 3, 4% to the price. Um, and uh, anyway, either side, this van has got a wardrobe. And at the sides, you can see... There's a little cubby hole with, in the case over there, there's a USB above it. Let me get up into the bed right now. You can see here you've got storage above, which is quite deep. And it's padded at the back, so you can hit your head against it if you want. Uh, mirror, and you can raise the bed up should you be so inclined. And there's the cubby hole on this side, which doesn't have a USB, but it does have this night lamp, so you can read in bed. There's a nice window in the roof and windows on either side. So you've got a lot of light in here. Bear in mind that we are inside at the moment and it is the internal lighting of the vehicle, which to a large extent gives it this nice effect. Television goes up there, and that is the door. That is the door, you think? That doesn't look like a door. Where's that a door to? So I shall demonstrate where this is a door to by walking over here and closing the door. Can't close the door. The reason why, it's locked up here. So unlock that, and it's still locked. So unlock that and pull it out, and it's still locked. Why? What's happening here? This down here is not working. That's why I left that. Now pull this down. And that now comes out. Notice you've got this railway junction at the top up there. This comes out this way. And this very easily slides over to... There we go. Oh, it'll even go further. So, you've got this, which just slid all this way over here. What's the point of that, you might say? Well, it sort of gives you the television in the centre of the uh, the motorhome. But let's let's now try me trying not to put my shoes on the bed. Let's see what else it'll do. You can close it here. Now, what's that look like? What do you think? Locked in. Too small. Okay, what about now, you can use this, you can just sort of nip out here, for example, and you might think, wow, oh, what's the point of that? How about now, if I come out here and close this one? So now, it's, it's, it's doubly closed. Let's come back in and see what that does, if anything. All right, so there, I have to lock this. And now, close this here. And this has given this rather large 
washroom here. I'll stand in the shower so you can see how big the shower is. Look at all this. Stacks of space around me. And if somebody's using the toilet, we can pull this one off. That goes like that. Oh, I can even close it there tomorrow if you want. There you go. Now the toilet door's closed. And the shower's closed. Well, you might think this is quite a lot of work. But uh, it sort of makes a washroom uh, a little bit more individual. So let's unlock this door now. Put that over here and move this back. Now the first time I saw this, I thought, two years ago, I thought that, that's never going to work. But uh, so far I haven't heard any complaints about it. And believe me, I hear lots of complaints from people when things don't work. Now people, I thought that's too, it's over engineered, it's too complicated. Uh, but, and, but one thing they have introduced for the 2022 season is this lock. So that, that will make a difference because previously they were just locked here. Now one thing about these things, the solid uh, wood uh, dividers, is that they do tend to rattle. And uh, I imagine them rattling a lot when they get on in life a bit. This also actually would open as well. So, I mean, in effect, I mean, you could keep that there like that and push the thing across there as well. And therefore, that would give you a sort of dressing room there. So, let's just see that in action. Wow. Okay. <laughs> My own feeling is though, a curtain would do it much easily. Of course a curtain doesn't have the same elegance and uh, to somebody who's going to spend this type of money on a vehicle. Let's go at the front. The front, we've got this face-to-face uh, -face sort of look great way of sitting here so it's a sort of a lounger this actually when i think about it you can lounge on that uh looking out the front or you stick your head round and you can see the television over here this vehicle here is on a fiat oops uh, base you've got down there the uh reversing camera you've got these big bus type windows and here you've got the black uh, continuing from the color into the sideboard under which you've also got some storage. Kitchen comes with an oven, a freezer and a fridge. And over here, you've got three burners, two there one there, a large sink and behind that you've got a coffee maker and uh, I think the idea was once for the coffee maker to go up and uh, sorry the coffee not once it does the coffee maker will also go up and down as well so it goes behind this here these uh, glasses which it seems as though there's a lot of them but in fact there's only because there's only two. <laughs> storage above, as you'd expect, and storage here as well. The bed will come down manually, but I don't want to demonstrate because I see this, this vehicle's been sold. And uh, anyway, to put the bed down, you've got to put the chairs. The chairs come forward like that. It doesn't really matter, and different things be pointed this way, or pointed the other way, pointed any way. But uh, then, then you bring the bed down. And uh, now, next thing is here, we've got a flat floor. Indeed, we've got a flat floor. So the floor starts there and the floor flat all the way to the back. And the great advantage of this is that here we have this huge amount of storage in the double floor. 
and also here as well that's really deep and under there we find the uh, grey and white grey and white sorry the grey water tank and the fresh water tank storage under the kitchen as well oh I'll point this one here because this is quite cute there's your rubbish bins oh that's an original one I think I like that I don't know any other manufacturer that's got separate bins like that very nice okay these are so just sort of standard. Let's go and have a look at the back. This thing here is used for when chairs are, are turned around in the direction of travel and uh, that uh, is possible but uh, well anyway so that's what it does 350 kilos weight goes in here and there's a particularly clever thing which is that and that is for your bicycle to go in so that the, 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 the wheels will go down there or, and it'll be much easier for you to do you see I'll put this back with one hand no I can't right let's have a really good go at it oh there we there you are but 350 kilos fantastic up here we've got the electrics of the vehicle and uh, there's the rear the door on this side is just as big and uh, more storage and here we can see the depth of the double floor all the vehicles here uh, well, except for the camper vans have a double floor this to me is an essential uh, piece of any modern motorhome I think all right good so there you have the Cartago chic C line i5.3 QB SL Motorhome and thanks for watching.